Now, this title's a bit of a weird one. It's the only, like, American Laser Games that has, like, I guess a big name attached to it. Oh, what about Mad Dog McCree? He was a celebrity. I guess you're right, but, but like, they made that guy. Gallagher made himself. What about Johnny Rock, the inventor of rock and roll? I guess you're right. <laughs> no, yeah. I honestly find it, inc- like, almost appalling for you to uh, insinuate that anything made Gallagher. Gallagher just came into existence. <laughs> Gallagher is closer to a mistake than really anything else. I, I can't disagree. But American Laser Games decided that their next title, after Mad Dog 2, would be a tie-in with famous prop comedian Gallagher. And as far as I can tell, this is a game with an extremely limited release, uh, to the point that, like, only within the last year has a full rip of the Laserdisc video appeared online, which is what we're watching now. There's no, like emulation for this game, because I don't think anyone knows how this game is supposed to play. Chorps, shh, shh, you're spilling all the secrets. <laughs> so I've edited this video together to make it look almost like a video game. Once on a lifetime chance, a stopping me from terminating- That's always kind of amazing whenever you, like, have a game like that, like, that is basically com- completely, like, gone, really, and then just un- is on Earth in some sense. Yeah. Because a couple years ago, another rip came out, but it cut out half of this intro, and I don't know why. It's kind of fantastic. I'm just like... So the point of the game is to stop Gallagher from smashing the watermelons? I- yeah. Yes. So this game like, is designed for people who hate Gallagher. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the goal, goal of this game is to stop Gallagher from doing comedy, and we succeed it. <laughs> and you're gonna shoot him! This feels like the intro to, like, just a fucking insane Food Network show. <laughs> Gallagher would make for a good food show. Like if uh, Guy's Grocery Games was Gallagher's Grocery Gallery, this is what that would, it would be, be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just hate spinach? So yeah, this is split up into sort of like uh, areas, right? So this one, you're at the grocery store with Gallagher shooting foods he doesn't like. But if you shoot foods he does like, that my like. I'm taking off for that. This is performance art now. <laughs> yeah, this, I gotta say, having only watched ten minutes of like a Gallagher bit, Gallagher is fucking disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Gallagher hates wedding cakes? <laughs> yeah. Shoot that. Dog. No, he hates monogamy just as a concept. Shoot the school lunches. And now you can hear his incredible voice work. This is famous character, a high-pitched lunch lady, I guess. But yeah, this... It's a very strange game where, like, it feels like they got Gallagher, but they didn't get, like, a lot of Gallagher. <laughs> Like, all of these things feel very divorced until he cuts in. I like how you can see, like, the remainders of, like, the the firecrackers they used to blow them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Anyways, that was all of the food minigames. This is fucking disturbing. <laughs> if you ever do this as, like, a comedian, I'm sorry, but you deserve to be executed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm laughing. So again, we're shooting things he hates, like prescription medication. Oh, I gotta <laughs> take my sweet tarts or else I get weird throughout the day. <laughs> oh no, we're shooting all of mom's diabetes pills? <laughs> no! You're very good. <laughs> so I will say, this one has the most you did good and you did bad clips for all of these. It was really hard to be able to fit them all in for this particular minigame. <laughs> Uh, other things kids hate, uh, piano lessons, I guess? 
And candles. Oh, just get it. Use electricity, you freak. <laughs> Considering American laser games, I thought we had to like rescue Gallagher or something, like he was kidnapped at the start of the game. But no, it's just shooting random objects, huh? Yeah, it's just shooting things that Gallagher hates. It would honestly rule. <laughs> Gallagher hates braziers. The breasts should be free. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you can tell because it's worth more points. Um, but yeah, like, and then at the end, it's like, you, you're going to stop him from smashing a watermelon. So I feel like there's like some like Gallagher self-loathing in there because you have to like stop things he hates. And I guess he, I don't know, maybe he hates the like what he's created for right. comedy. I don't know exactly what that <laughs> like is. The, the but final like... mini game is just like he takes off his stupid hat <laughs> and he's like, do what must be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh. <laughs> yeah, this one's kind of weird. This, this one feels out of place. <laughs> the You're a real dead. piece of shit, Gallagher. <laughs> oh, don't I don't worry, think guys. That's true. They killed those fish. <laughs> they killed those fucking fish. I think Gallagher's lying. Yeah. To try to save face in court. Gallagher started air boarding that goldfish. <laughs> Point at me! Shoot around here! Where are you shooting? Kill me! God, I wish I could, Gallagher. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that light gun? You better take me out in one shot. 21, 22, 23! Go ahead. <laughs> You've murdered a child. Congratulations. <laughs> so, okay. Let's get this out there. Comedians make horrible video games. Magicians, on the other hand, make video games we remember for all time. It's true. What, uh, what's a... <laughs> what's a game that a magician made? Desert Bus. Yeah, the Penn & Teller game that includes Desert Bus. Oh, you're right, I forgot about Penn & Teller. Uh, also, uh, all of Rundy Pitchfork's games. <laughs> Damn. That's true, right? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, there's also the Chris Angel, like, Mind Freak trilogy. Oh, there's the Chris Angel Mind Freak trilogy? No, but I thought it would be funny to imagine that. You're thinking of, um, Dark Angel, which well, is that Jay book series. Jay, it's not funny to imagine it, because now I'm sad and depressed that there's not a Mind Freak trilogy. <laughs> I guess it's just a wrong place, wrong time. Like, if celebrity games were starting to get big here in, like, what, 92, I think this game came out? Like, Chris Angel wasn't around yet. He hadn't perfected his craft. This reminds me of the Wendy's, um... A training video with the talking hamburgers. Oh, uh huh. I don't think I've seen that, and that sounds. I was about to say fantastic, but I don't know if that's the word I want to use. <laughs> well, that's how you get the gumballs out of the machine. Enemy forces! They're trying to stop me! <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to take me down for the things I said. So, um, thinking about that, like, a lot of his comedy just seems to be, like, being mad about stuff. Like, he's just, like, angry and, like, airing his grievances to an audience that all, like, clap along and laugh with him. Isn't that stand-up comedy just in general? I guess so. Watching it was, like, I'm mad about the English language making no sense, so he just say things like, uh, why is it called a building if it's already built, kind of shit. Like, that's the kind of comedy that was happening in 1990. Uh, would he, like, smash, like, the letter Y for being sometimes a vowel or something? <laughs> no, he only smashes watermelons, as far as I know. That's, like, a whole bit. Like, that's, that's its own routine. Otherwise, he's, like, I don't know, there was one for a special called, like, Mad as Hell, where he was wearing one roller skate and one, like, spring shoe. Something you can do. And he was just like, I'm mad that we've spent so much money importing goods from Japan. <laughs> like, 
you can play perfectly good American video games like Gallagher's Gallery. <laughs> Galaga, which is named after me. <laughs> I've been playing Bloodborne and this game is making me mad as hell. It's two hearts. <laughs> I just want to smash the cleric beast. I could be a blood-starved beast! <laughs> I tried to use the hammer in the video game and it's too dang slow! Let me tell you about Winona's Big Brown Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> so is it cause or custom? Make up your mind, this is what I hate about the current social justice warrior environments. <laughs> Fucking Les Claypool really fell off the deep end. <laughs> I think it's a shame that we didn't get like a uh, Galaga or Ga Gallagher uh, beat him up. Uh, I think that would have been good, especially Ooh. because Player Two could have been Gallagher Two, his brother. Really, <laughs> uh, Gallagher should have been a DLC character for Streets of Fury. Oh yeah, he would have fit right in with uh, the nostalgia critic. Yeah, yeah, because they're both mad as hell. <laughs> they're also both comedians that use weapons. Like that's true, classically. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you think would win in like a gorilla setting? Like the nostalgia critic or a Gallagher? Ah, that's hard because they both yell so much. It's hard for them to be stealthy. I think the big issue is that the nostalgia critic is very bad at accuracy, while like. Gallagher always hits his shot. Oh yeah, Gallagher just has to, like, dodge roll his way to the Nostalgia Critic, and it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. And, like, his hammer could probably dodge a bullet, like, a stray bullet that tries to go for him. I think the thing is, like, Gallagher would, like, try to ambush him by jumping down from a tree with, like, a, a jumping strike. But the Nostalgia Critic would think about how he hates uh, uh, Garfield and just start shooting in the air wildly and kill Gallagher by accident. Right, like, he could, like Gallagher could probably say something like, I'm mad that we spend more money on video games than the space program! And, like, the Nostalgia Critic would agree, but in, like, a way that, like, blinds him, where Gallagher's powered by it. See, uh, I don't think the Nostalgia Critic would agree, because if he agrees, I've seen his videos, he would do a five-minute <laughs> apology to video games. <laughs> <laughs> this really does feel a lot more like a, an art like installation than an actual video game. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think probably the fact that it is... You know, just the video files basically does kind of contribute to that, but still, it's... Yeah, why didn't you add a fake cursor? <laughs> Sorry. You, you should have put the uh, the big Action Max uh, light down <laughs> in the, the lower right corner. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, this, uh, this video has some problems. You should have uh, put in, like, your top ten favorite Gallagher bits. <laughs> oh yeah, I should have just edited them in. Yeah, I don't know, it just feels like... It feels like Gallagher is not present in these games, right? Like... Well, then you could shoot him. <laughs> like, the narrative, I think, helps to bring sort of these, like, ga these challenges together in a way that this one, it just feels right, yeah, like Gallagher yells at you while you do something that's unrelated, you know? <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the bonus round. Here, uh, we are given a challenge to shoot very specific items. Like, find China. And this can! I feel so sorry for this woman <laughs> having to do this job. I don't know, this seems like a sweet job. And you get to hang out with your favorite comedian, Gallagher. I guess so. I, I, I mean, could you name a more popular... Not even just comedian, but celebrity that you could hang out with in 1992. The fact that it's, like, silent. <laughs> oh, wow, she's funnier than Gallagher. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. 
But the, the fact that it's like there is no like words being said, like you expect like a game show host to be like, oh, it's moonshine or something. <laughs> oh, no. <Yeah. laughs> this is still better than the kid thing. Yeah. Wait, we weren't already in Gallagher's gallery? Then you get to challenge me. Nano machines, Jack. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we were doing the um the challenges to get to Gallagher's gallery. Gallagher's gallery is now a carnival, which is a little more what we were talking about where he's at least going to like introduce the games and be like a little bit of like a huckster. <laughs> But yeah, all the other things were sort of, like, preparing us for this moment. There is no star. You were doing good at there, so there'd be a crowd around you. Well, it's because we didn't find it. Oh. But that time, we get it. They're all- they're all stars. That's right. We're all stars, truly. I mean, when next to Gallagher, of course. They fly through the air with the greatest of ease. Shoot the pins, but not the clowns, please. Now, I will say, I did search through the video for, like, all the fail states so I could show them off. There is not a single fail state where, like, you shoot a clown and he, like, pretends to die. Damn, that sucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there, there should be one fail state where it... <laughs> God, that's very funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where, like, it's like a first-person POV, and, like, you're lying on your back, and Gallagher's like, You shot the wrong thing, and he smashes your head with a hammer. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, it it feels like the, the thing that they did is just, like, get him to be, like, mad at you. But I feel like there could have been a lot more characterful entries with, like, fail states here. Yeah, I feel Gallagher's Gallery should have been more of a survival horror game where, Gar where like, Gallagher chases you with a sledgehammer. Oh, yeah, he could be, like, Mr. X. I think more like uh, Daddy Baker, personally. He's more of a one-liner <laughs> guy, you know? Sure. I, I don't know, I imagine Gallagher would be great at a Dead by Daylight scenario. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. They'll add him in next time, I'm sure. Let's play reverse. He's actually you part of the Resident Evil Hulk crossover. Hulk? He's the killer <laughs> for it. Oh my god. Yeah, they just spoil Resident Evil 8 like that. Like, you get through that mansion with all the, like, vampire ladies, and then it's just, like, Gallagher's there. <laughs> hey, Ethan, I'm the frickin' t virus I'm Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. Hi, sports fans. Let's go one on one. Now, this one is my favorite mini game of all of them. This one has the most Gallagher because you're like interacting with him. Gotcha. <laughs> From my Apple computer. And so here's the um. Here's what happens when you lose all your credits. To decide whether or not you want to get out your money and buy into this game and continue from where you are right now. Was well, this an arcade game instead of a home games? game? Yes, uh, this was in arcades, um, just like the other ones. There was a Mega CD port planned that got canceled. Okay. God. I don't understand playing, like, Evan Fee games at the arcade, because you're there for dialogue, which you cannot hear at an arcade. It's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. No, they specifically just made the Gallagher's Gallery machine just five times as loud as everything else. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like um, when you go to a Japanese arcade and you're playing a rhythm game, you can actually hook up headphones into it so you yeah. can hear it. I think it helps in some ways. American Laser Games made their machines, like, huge on purpose to be, like, spectacles. So I assume they had, like, bigger speakers than anyone else. Yeah. yeah this was so you don't get to shoot Gallagher in that one? No, this, uh, you just shoot the basketball. This arcade machine was actually uh, shaped like a life-size Gallagher. <laughs> it was just Gallagher's head and the screen was in his mouth. <laughs> 
Yeah, so here we have to shoot his hammer enough times to be able to stop him from smashing the melon on the right. <laughs> and this is actually how fast he's going in real life. He's reaching Ultra Instinct. <laughs> how do these melons resist so much pressure? <laughs> That's the power of Gallagher. Like he no! is able to control himself more powerfully than other any other human. It was to me. <laughs> Man, these were the days of comedy where you could just have like a really one note gimmick and become a millionaire. Wait, wait, wait! Is oh, there yeah. no good ending? Can you not save the melon? No, that was the good ending. Oh my god. Eventually, everything must die, Jay. That's what Gallagher's Gallery teaches us. You I had to save one melon, but the other melon got sacrificed for it. It's it's really sort of like a it's like a gray morality kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I just like I feel like I need to like decompress and like talk about my feelings after the experiencing this game. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why don't you talk to me? I'm your therapist. I say you smash your feelings down. <laughs> why don't you smash that subscribe button and ring that <laughs> bell? 